I made a clock. Okay, actually, I didn't make the clock. I um, bought the clock, and the face and the body, and I made a few modifications. So if you look up nice and close here, you can see uh, there's a few extra dials. There is one that says years, one that says months, and one that says days. Um, so the days one count to 30.4, the months count to 12, and the years count to 100. So actually this clock can count up to 100 years. Um, and it does that using these extra gears at the back here. So, um, that's a normal clock mechanism, um, a few extra battery packs. But essentially, um, there's a sheet of clear PVC, and in between that and the front of the clock, there are these extra plastic gears. Um, they're nailed into the acrylic and on some of them the dials are attached uh, So when I turn this clock on which was uh, one year one month and 17 days ago um, It's been counting ever since and it hopefully will continue to count um, actually this I built this as a present for my first son, uh, my only son, and I turned it on when he was born. Well, actually, obviously not the exact moment he was born, uh, I think it was a day or two later, but I uh, came and I set it forwards by the day, you know, within a few hours. Um, so... It moves really slowly. Um, actually, the reduction on this end here between the first one and the last one is about 730,050 to 1. Um, that number comes from 365.25, the number of days in a year, including leap years, um, multiplied by 100. Obviously, there's 100 years. And multiply that by two because it's connected to the hour hand of the clock mechanism and it's a 12 hour clock so it goes around twice a day all right so the first few gears get it to 30.4 like I said earlier which is the average number of days in a month um, and it's a bit tricky getting to that number especially because the gears that I've got here, uh, you know, I've only got limited numbers in, and they have certain number of teeth. Um, so I bought packs like this off of eBay, very cheap, and yeah, there's a bunch of different sizes in there. And I actually um, made a spreadsheet on the computer, and um, it I put in the ratio that I wanted, and it gave me. The combinations that would get me there or near to. Actually, um, I couldn't get exactly to the ratio I wanted, um, but I worked out it was quite close. It was within 45 minutes every year, which is not really significant um, on the year's hand where it moves extremely slowly. You can see there that it's hardly moved. Um, not even a degree, um, one hundredth of a, of a rotation. Um, yeah, so the battery pack obviously is just to keep it going a bit longer. I think it needs to last a fair while. Um, and they're just in parallel to the normal batteries. Um, I was a bit worried that, you know, if you... If, if it ran out of battery someday and I wouldn't see it, then you know you lose your count and that's not good. But actually, if it runs out of battery, the clock itself starts to run out of time. I assume it hasn't run out of battery yet. And that'll give me a pretty good indication that the batteries are 
running low and then I'll just replace them and if I just fast forward the, forward the clock to the actual time it'll catch back up anything that it lost so yeah that's my clock um, we'll see how much longer it lasts originally I had planned to make it out of brass gears um, but that was very expensive and uh, this is pretty easy to do um, I am hoping it will keep going at least until my son is old enough to appreciate that there's been a clock counting his life since he was born whenever that might be in the next 10 or 20 years we'll see anyway that's about all I'll put um, some links in the description of the where I got the stuff and yeah actually not too bad um, in terms of the clock it's a high torque mechanism which is important because it has to run all these other bits and pieces I found though that as long as you get the first few gears nice and loose you know not too not too tight then all the other ones they're not significant even if they're quite tight um, because it's such a high reduction ratio that it's not significant the torque is um, very high so what else is I going to say I balance the the hands on the on the clocks make it a little bit easier on the mechanism and so far that's been fine hasn't got out of time or anything um, I actually I was overseas on his first birthday so I didn't get a chance to check it exactly but um, it looked like it was very close to being exact um, when I checked it a day or two earlier and I can tell by the fact that it keeps up with the months that it's doing the job it's working okay That'll do for now. Thanks, guys.